Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So I'm recording this episode back to back with the last episode, um, just because I want to get uh, um, a couple of these guys in the bank so I can at least rest my arms this weekend. So let's have a look real quick at the mech bay here. Um, so I've made a couple of adjustments. The Orion we outfitted yesterday, or with the last episode, we got a pair of rotary fives. Um, and a pair of ER medium lasers. Uh, so I'm interested to see how these bonus rotary fives work. I've never seen a bonus like clan weapon before, so that's kind of the first time I've seen one. So I'm hoping this works out pretty cool. Um, the uh, Timberwolf I changed slightly. Uh, wasn't really enjoying those streaks so much. Uh, they, they had a slightly higher chance to hit, but you know, not really enjoying them all that much. What I wanted, because we're taking the um, um, we're taking the uh, gorilla out of the lineup, I wanted a more pinpoint mech, so I put in three more e ER medium lasers and took out the SRM sixes. We needed to add a bunch of heat sinks. I think it was like four we added, but our heat efficiency is actually pretty good, 132, 146. So um, we needed to change out. Oh no, we left the ferro fibrous. Uh, still have the command console in here, but um, yeah. So that's kind of what I did with this guy. And then, what else did we do here? Oh, the night gear, yeah. So the arrow system has made itself back into the night gear. And it looks like this. Now, one thing you guys should know about um, building a system with an arrow, arrow is you cannot use the weapons TTS because it doesn't work with the arrow. I tried it, doesn't work. Um, I wish it did, but you know, you get what you get. So we've got um, the weapon mount which gives us minus one recoil. This has got a recoil of three, I think. Yeah, so we've only got minus one recoil. Um, I wanted to leave the ER large laser in the head, uh, so that's what I did. Uh, recon sensors, slick sweet, and I put the fire control indirect in here uh, because we still have three LRM 15s, so I wanted to at least give us a little bit more of a bonus with indirect fire, uh, e even that plus with the arrow as well, right? So. Uh, so there's the three LRM-15s, large laser, arrow system, and then our heat is actually not that bad at all. You know, 103, 102, or 93, 102. And we're not going to be using the large laser for direct fire a whole lot, uh, most likely. Um, but, so we should be relatively, you know, heat efficient. Uh, the armor's still not maxed out, but, you know, I'm okay with that. So that's this guy. Let's see what we can do damage-wise with this mech. And I didn't put in the Inferno ammo, I just put in the regular ammo. Um, we weren't hitting all that much. If I, if I find we're hitting, you know, often enough, I might use it maybe for indirect fire. But um, right now we want to go direct fire, so we'll see how that works out. And that's it, I think. Um, the extra storm crow that we picked up, um, well, not last episode, but just before last episode, the one episode that didn't record, uh, that I just put into storage for now because uh, we don't need it out here. So let's have a look. Contract-wise, there's another contract I want to take on this planet. Um, Wolf is at about 32% here. So we are going to take this destroy base broken chain. Uh, it's got good salvage, so we're going to go max that out uh, and accept. So that, um, we sold so much stuff, stuff from that last uh, um, mission that we performed. I'll tell you in a second here. Interface initiated. And I forgot to put the Orion in, but whatever. I got the talking again. Well, this is a it sure as hell is. Oh, you can't move, can you? Oh, yeah, you can. Confirm. That's a lot more evasion than I thought. Oh yeah, so the sea bills that uh, we made between episodes, those ERPPCs are like 250,000 each. Um, I sold a bunch of those. We still have tons of them left, but um, I sold a bunch of those. The uh, XXL engine that we got, that was how much? That was like 2.6 million on its own, and a bunch of other junk that I hadn't sold in a while. I sold off, so we were able to get the uh, 
final uh, the gamma pod up and running I guess it was the last one so that's up and running now let's get you in mm. something like that I think I yeah I figured there was somebody here got it. what do we got smash Shadowhawk Axel Dark Crow well you gonna stand there so yeah we made a whole ton of sea bills which is great um, one thing I do like fighting in, in clan space is that getting sea bills is so easy like all the clan stuff is like like so many sea bills wise it's just like you just sell it off and you just make tons of money The dark crow rising. That's not even a song. Eh. Let's get the shadow hawk here. Much better chances to hit. Let's shred this guy firing. Well. That was disappointing. Hmm. Let's figure out what he's going to do now. So I think I'll probably launch against the uh, one of these turrets back here. Hardened Shredder turret. Those are usually close range. Okay. Systems holding. Yay. They are holding. Let's take out this turret. Oh, that should easily do it. Firing. Got it. Hey, if we hit with the laser, but we didn't. Okay, sandwich moving up. Delicious. Okay, Axel and then the turrets. So in terms of raw firepower, That uh, night gear is like really nice. I don't like the very the idea of the variable damage. Oh, the shredder turret can fire, eh? Don't like the idea of the variable damage, but not much we can do. That's this back turret, I think. Nope, that's that turret. Maybe it was this turret. I don't know. No, that's an LRM turret. That's an LRM turret. All right, it's a hot environment, firing on this guy. He's going down. All right, Griff. Slower I move, the harder it is for them to hit me, so. on this guy. Uh, leg him. Torso him. Sure. Firing. Wow. You are in pain. Okay, let's see what our indirect fire is at here interested to see that's pretty lots well, of stationary target though what about a non-stationary target Do we have indirect fire oh like this guy ah still pretty good though arrow is really good 
Um, so we're going to multi this, I think. 60% on this guy. 40. 82. Um, Sure. Multiple targets confirmed. Ooh, nice one. Okay, and in the back turret. Hate it when those guys shoot at me. Okay, who's going next? Oh, this guy probably? Probably. I think we'll take a shot at this guy. We're, I don't know where we hit him. But Mockingbird will just fire straight under this guy and then move up, move over into here. I've been sensor locked. Standing by. Um, just gonna fire. Copy that, He's going down. Goodbye. And let's just move into nope here where they don't get direct fire on us. Okay, not bad. I mean, we're, you know, it's not like that last match, the last episode where we were fighting a lot of heavy vehicles. Yeah, we're taking it slow, but once those turrets are gone, we're just going to steamroll the rest of whatever's left here. It's always a pain in the ass taking that long range fire when you're really trying to focus on taking down heavier mechs. Thanks for showing up, buddy. All right, what are you doing? All right, coming forward, eh? Okay. Forty-eight, huh? Definitely brave. Give you that. All right, firing this. Firing on multiple ah. Wow. Reporting negative damage. Yeah, I see that. Moving out. Griff the stiff. Hmm. Ah, who do we want to take out this turn? Sure. Evasive target destroyed. Ooh. Commander. This should be good. 
Bang, you're dead. That's a kill. Let's move and become a little bit evasive. Standing by. Sure. Let's make sure we get A. Nicely done. Start on B. Yeah. I wish these missions... I mean, I guess I could run in and just do stuff, but... With the heavier mechs, we're not generating the same amount of evasion, so it's like... Kind of six to one half dozen another. You can't really rush it, so it just feels like the whole thing is slower moving. Jesus got pretty good armor, eh? Um, sure. Here it comes. That's a pretty good start. Let's move up over here. Up. Waiting for orders. And fire. Firing all weapons. We actually hitting this guy where we want to. Now we're spreading it around. Because of course we are. Yeah, I might be able to get him. There we go. Bye. Ready for orders. On my way. Double time. Ah, all right. You can see these now, eh? Okay, turret gone. Price, you don't even need to move in. That's a hundred. Fifty. And a hundred. One fifty. One fifty. So we're going to multi target this. So arrow to A. Those two to B, and that to C. Should be enough as long as most of the missiles hit. Firing. Enemy structure. Nice. Nice. And almost. Why not? Actually, you know what? Let's multi target. Let's take down more than one. Just because we can. Engaging multiple targets. <gasps> 
You missed with one. Dude, really? Sending in the big guns, eh? Raven 2? Really? Let's cool off. It's a lot of evasion. It's that DNI cockpit, right? As soon as you start moving, it's like good luck hitting. Oh, ambusher. Just sounds scarier than it is, really. Wolverine? Thirty-one, nine, huh? All right, firing four. Standing by. So I considered putting um, two large um, improved uh, heavy lasers on this guy. Only problem with that was that uh, the heat sinking. I could get two of those and maybe two ER mediums and that's it and then it's just like nothing after that. Well, wow, chance to hit is so bad. What's going on? Yes, commander. Hey, yep. Got it. Okay, turrets are gone. Turret destroyed. Now they got somebody else back there. Can we not get up there. Oh, movement impaired. That's why. <sighs> Copy that. Start to move back. I gotta find out what the heat, what's going on with the heat sinking on this thing. Do I not have a double heat sink kit on it? That's what it feels like all of a sudden. Take a while, huh? Wonder if we just leave here. Hmm. Maybe we can fire. Let's fire these. Firing. We're not heating up, so we might as well. Point nine percent, huh?
And the crab. We really need to be here for this. Let's go off to where the uh, the fruit is more fruitful. Or at least it's moving faster. Come on, buddy. Wow. Receiving you. You should have moved, bud. What were you thinking? Still hot, huh? Attacking from position. Goodbye. Enemy mech destroyed. Commander. Rolling. Yeah, a lousy chance to hit, but we'll take him anyway. What do you need? That's pretty good chances on this guy. See if we can smoke this crab firing. Nope. Where is he going? That's confusing. Yeah, let's just get out of here. There's no point staying around. Full throttle. Standing by. Get some fire suppression on him. This guy. This should be good. Oh, all the big weapons hit. Critical hit, Commander. Going down. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I was gonna take first to get out of here. Ah, uh, maybe we can get out pretty quickly, I think. Yep. Looking out. How far can you move? Not far enough. Curse your small legs. All right, one more turn and we're out of here. Come on. Let's go, people. Standing by. Sorry, somebody had to say it. Yeah. Maybe we got a parting shot in. Oh, smooshed. Hostile removed. Commander. I 
All right, let's go home. No point in hanging around. Mission successful. All right, so hopefully that helps the Falcon a bit. It should, I think. Took a little bit of damage, but not a whole lot. No big deal. All right. Weird that these are at the top and the mech parts are below. Uh, I'm thinking things like this would be really helpful. Ultra 5 ammo, we don't really need. Maybe SRM 6. If we get max parts, we get max parts, that's fine. Don't really need them per se. Ultra 5s, Com Suite. How much endo do we have? Two. Let's take that. Enhanced imaging is always good. Um, that actually could go in the night gear, probably. I'm thinking. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, another heat bank. That looks like it's a better one. Mm, it's not as good as the clan one, though. Overall. Um, clan double heat sink kit. We've got two of them right now. Stealth armor, AMS ammo. Rack 5. What was at the top again? Ultra 5s. Don't need those. Clan Guardian ECMs. We got six of them. Well, we don't need any of those. Um, no sensors or anything, eh? We got like three of these still, don't we? Four of them. Two of these. God, man. Let's take a clan double heat sink kit. Why not? Sure. Okay, bunch of mech parts. Oh, uh, ER largest. Okay, so not too bad overall. I have a bunch of heat sinks we could sell. These are important though. Okay. Um, Wolf took Tathis from Jade Falcon, really? That's what we're sitting on right now. We're not doing our job here? Really? Shotguns Marauders are here, eh? Well, let's take the priority mission. What? Um, it's only three, though. Let's just jump. We got 26 days to the uh, financial report, so it's plenty of time. So let's just jump over here. What are the, what's the percentage here? Really? Calculating course now, Commander. Okay, Gamma Pond is online. Actually, we should pause for a second here. I want to get that last training module up and running. Alright, let's see our ship upgrades. That last training module. Definitely want to get that up and going. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. Um... Okay, checking the mechs just in case there's any of the repairs we need to make. I think we're pretty good though. Yeah, we're, we're good. So let's continue. And hopefully we can find a mission here to solidify this planet. Let's visit the store just in case. Weapon mounts would be nice. I haven't seen one of those in the store in a long time though. Nope. Even, um, even getting, um, what's it called? Um, heats and cooling pods. Okay, contracts. Hmm, lost contact. Priority mission. Did 
taking the convoy to a nearby facility. All right, so we need to go and get that stuff. So let's take this one. Priority. Um, let's have a look at our mech warriors. We're working on getting to gunnery 10. So blockade and El Duce are close. And Griff and Mockingbird are a little bit behind. They've both taken injuries in the past, so... But anyway, we're good to go, so let's take that contract. Lots of stuff we can do here. Lots of five scholars. We're going to take the four and a half and negotiate. I'm going to go full salvage, and this time... Oh, 729 is nice. This time we will not forget to put the Orion in. Sorry about that last time, guys. Switch this around. There we go. So let's try this out. Um, the Strix is the only mech that's standing out for me right now. Um, I think we do need that fast AC-20, Ultra-20. But maybe we look, once we get another heavier mech, maybe we look to making that a faster Ultra-20 build and getting rid of this guy. But let's see how these double racks do. I'm interested to see what these are like. Got lots of ammo, so I can't be afraid to use it. Let's deploy and get this done. All right, let's hope we get some weapon mounts. Definitely need weapon mounts. Gotta need them. We need them for the racks for the recoil reduction. All right. Yep. Can you actually get past anybody? Nope. Grip's blocking the way. What else is new? God, it's nice having that extra, um, extra visual range from the command um, module. Makes a huge difference to be able to see out this far. Ready for orders. At least I feel it does. Alright. Okay, what do we got here? Clan LRM carrier, eh? Orders. What do you think? Luce, you think you can wipe that out for me? I think you probably can. Hey, yep. Attacking from position. The sweeps, the bleeps, and the creeps. I'm there. Wow, it's all vehicles, man. That's crazy. Tank destroyer. Clan LRM carrier's got to go. Ten four. Nicely done. Frag the vehicle. Receiving you. Going full throttle. Uh, let's do this. That's some pretty good armor. Ah, uh, he's going first. Okay, not too bad. Be able to get these racks in play in a second. So let's hope they got reinforcements because, uh, damn. Hmm. Well. Sure. That was kind of fun. 
Um, let's reserve. Let's let him come up to us. We got lots of evasion. I copy. Roger that. Well, unless we can kill him from here. Which is a possibility with the arrow system. And a warlord. Come on. No. Waiting for orders. Full speed. No target. All right, here he comes. What is that, buddy? I'm showing minor damage. All right, firing. Might as well spread the damage around. Waiting for orders. Oh, look at that. Hit him with a little bit of force, I guess, eh? Let's go stand on this corpse. Warm our feet. That's it? That's it? I'm sick of getting screwed in four and a half skull missions with like four vehicles and that's it. Like that was pathetic. It seems like such a huge waste of time. Sure, why not? Wow, look at all those light machine guns. LRM-20s. Well, at least we can sell them, but... Damn, Artemis ammo. <sighs> Alright. Like, nothing for repairs. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm really getting frustrated with those really lousy... Four and a half skull, five skull, well not really five skull. Five skulls have generally been pretty good, but that was a four and a half skull mission. And it was just garbage. Like I can't even see how that's a viable four and a half skull mission. Even on the low end of the spectrum, that was that's like so bad. Tell you what, let's take another one here. Uh, there should be a priority mission. What was that at? Three and a half? Sure. 11 days. Um, intercept the supply convoy. That should be fast. For full salvage. Let's hope it's not all vehicles. No, I'm my luck. That's what it'll be. Yeah, thanks, man. Ah, that's just really sucky. I mean, I don't, I don't, I mean, I got a lot of sea bills. I don't really care, right, if it's flipping planets. But, you know, I play the game to have fun. And missions like that, when you go into a four and a half skull mission, like that to me, that was a two skull mission at the low end or middle end. Okay, training models, modules up and running. Yeah, let's proceed. All right, same lance. Let's deploy and get this done. Command interface initiated. All right. Oh, this is a. Uh, I thought it was a destroy convoy. Waiting for orders. You know what? I'm probably gonna nullify that last mission then. So if you don't, wow, if you don't see that last mission, it's all because I didn't even bother showing it. It was basically four vehicles. It was so easily, like so easy. There was no point in even, like we took, you know, what is it, 8,000 worth of Seaville damage. Only one guy got to shoot at us. 
Thank you for moving, Mr. Stormcrow. He has no idea what's around the corner, though, so... Can't blame him. What's up, dog? Let's go to four and four. Fire and... All right, grind them up. Copy that, Commander. Going down. He's going down. Arctic wolf coming in for death. What's up, dude? Oh. Back destroyed. Thanks for showing up. You win the consolation prize. And that consolation prize is a quick death. I've got an unknown on sensors. Well, he's known now. He's going to be known as Bug Splatter in a minute. wonder if we can get down here. Dude, you need to fire more than that. I'm interested. This The arms on this... Uh, Orion look bigger. Is it just because the racks are on there, or is it just me? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It looks kind of cool, though. Yeah. Looks like a couple of mufflers stuck on his arms. Ah, uh, let's warlord this. Stay nice and cool. Firing. Ah, you did. Ooh, still got side shots in this guy. Grind him up. So I'm interested to see how this thing works against heavy and assault max. Medium max, it's you know relatively easy. I'm there. Let's finish this guy up. Firing. Arctic Wolf. Even if he if he decides to run away, then we'll kill the Storm Crow. Otherwise, we're going to kill this guy. Can't move too far. Oh, he didn't move at all. All right, buddy. We'll have this back by the time we're ready to fight next time, so let's hammer him. I hope we can salvage that. Stormcrow gets up after being knocked down. He's like, where'd all my buddies go? That's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Yeah, 
So I got fuck this, I'm going home. Orders. I'm going home. It's too bad you ain't going to get there. That's, a kill. That's what you get for running. Alright, now taking our time to get the hell over there. Copy that, Commander. Okay. And blockade. Alright, full speed. I mean I guess we could have gone around this way, it just takes way longer. Okay, you need to activate them. Because you got the speed. Well, your ride's not too bad. Waiting for orders. Ooh, we can get way up here. Yeah, man. Take that. Yep. Roger that. Yeah, he's got a target on his back. Got to change that. Good to go. Okay, let's just get here. Okay, we can activate next turn, I think. Commander? Yes, Commander. Let's move. Okay. Standing by. Roger, Skipper. Okay, we'll activate next turn. Receiving you. So Duce will go here. And Griff. That's kind of going to be in front of where they're moving. Let's just get over here, I guess. No, we can get here, right? Yeah. And blockade, just move it back here. Location confirmed. Okay. Enemy reinforcements. Thunderbolt, okay. What's this guy? A white? At least the vehicles move at a half decent speed. Plasma cannons, huh? Okay, what else do we have here? Huntsman and a Dark Crow. Well, we can't really shred this guy. Well, maybe we can. Leave it at four or we crank it? Now let's leave it at four. Firing. Okay, a few hits. A few hits right in the tits. Um, let's get... Uh, Just gonna fire straight out. Didn't expect much. Waiting for orders. Problem is if we reserve, then these guys are gonna shoot at our vehicles. Yeah, I mean, look at that, right? We can see these guys like straight out. Try this. Let's let them know we care. Oh, thought that was going to hit there for a second. Uh. Yeah, you say, uh, so do I.
We all, hopefully they all come after us. You know what would be interesting for planets? I mean, they've got factions and stuff, and then when you show up on a planet, depending on the amount of control the the, the uh, um, enemy has on the planet, there's a percentage planets of the planet they control. But what there should be, in order for contracts to like to to adjust the weight of the contracts, um, there should be percentage of the planet controlled, but there should also be like of value for the number of forces on the planet, like how strong the forces are, so that, for instance, if you take a five skull mission, or let's say you take a three skull mission, for instance, there's a wide variety of units that can show up in the three skull. That variety is um, a, basically determined by the enemy presence on the planet. So if they've got a lot of presence on the planet, even though they may only control 50% of the planet, they may have a lot of units there, then the difficulty of that three skull mission will be on the higher end of three skulls. If they have a few units on the planet, then it'll be on the lower end of three skulls. Just so that you can choose your planets based on, you know, how tough the missions will be when you're fighting. That's just a thought. I don't know how they would do it. Do I have no idea if that's even implementable, but it's kind of an interesting idea. Let's go punch this hunchman in the face here. Well, we could probably... Well, let's go with the huntsman. Better, easier chance to hit. Firing. Oh, he took two in the leg and didn't blow his torso off. Oh. Oh. Let's just give it a shot for his head. Let's do this. Pilot lethal, which means we must have hit him twice in the head. Either that or he had very little armor in his head. But goodbye. Is that a headless mech? Is he headless? He's friggin' head. No, he's not. Ah. Uh, it's hard to tell because they got the small head on the on the uh, shoulder there. I was hoping he'd be headless. No way to know for sure. Should have moved more than that guy. So should have you. Standing by. See if we can finish this guy off. Firing. Target down. It is down. Rolling. Receiving you. Blockade is here to save the day. With his big arrow system. Oh, he took it all. Nice. I'm not going to survive the vehicles, though. Going down. Oh. He survived all of that. Wow. Good going, buddy. Yeah. That's definitely not an easy feat. Roger. So 
I gotta give uh, kudos to where kudos are due. Let's hammer this guy. One rack's jammed, no big deal, firing. We got this guy. Enemy eliminated. Okay. One left. Come on. What are you doing, buddy? He actually moves before the vehicles? Oh, maybe he goes on 19. That would make sense. Commander. Confirm. What is up? Target eliminated. Well, at least his AMS went off. Yeah, at least these vehicles are relatively fast. Yep. All right, let's just get up here. Okay, vehicles, let's go. Wow. Good to go. So we got like visual sight on like so much of this. Okay. Yes, Commander. Waiting for and let's move up to about here. Stepping it. Let's get these vehicles moving. Let's go, guys. Wow, so slow. I didn't even move. Waiting for the shot. Standing by. Acknowledged. Standing by. I'm there. Come on, you guys. Of course. Yep. Well, we got visual sight on all these guys. I remember the pla the past missions that we did. Oh, Mad Cat, Dark Crow, Dark Crow, three Dark Crows and a Mad Cat, huh? I copy. Past missions we did, we couldn't even see up there. But a lot of the time when we're on this map is nighttime. Don't shoot that guy. I need parts. Ready for orders. 
How aggressive do we want to be? I think we want to be pretty aggressive. Huh. Let's reserve. Maybe not that aggressive, eh? Let's get them moving in on us, see what they do. Come on, you guys. Come into our guns. We got at least two more turns before this guy's out. serious I don't want to explode the mad cat I want to pull its legs off and stuff but the rest of the guys will just blow up once they move Come on, you guys, move out. Yeah. Acknowledge. Yeah, he's got lots of armor, right? Eh? 920? Let's leave that one off. Just fire these three. Come on. Yeah, I gotta do something about the heat situation on this guy. Most likely what I'll end up doing. If we can get a heat sink cooling pod, or a couple of them, that would be great. I can put in the uh, patchwork materials that we picked up. And uh, add some more heat sinks or cooling pods or something. Let's go after this guy. He's only got 850, eh? That's the mad cat. Did I shoot the wrong target? I shot the wrong target. Damn it, that was stupid. Alright, two hits. I don't know why I thought, uh... Yeah, well, I wasn't watching. I'm smart ash, and you are dumb ash. Don't blow him up, please. Come on, get out of there. Shit. Let's grind this guy. Actually, where's the guy we've already hit? Is it this guy? Yeah, he's taking a little damage. Let's shoot this guy. See if we can finish this guy off. Yeah, firing. Yeah, I'm kind of liking the rack builds. He says as he destroys a mech. But, you know... 
We'll have to see how it goes as we go along. Going full throttle. Let's max this out here. Firing. Target neutralized. Yes, Commander. Location confirmed. Really low chances to hit, but we'll take them. Gotta get started on that guy. Who's going next? Dark Crow? Bet you it's the Mad Cat. Nope, it's the crow. Okay. Now we've already damaged this guy, I think. Nope. It was this smudge that we damaged. Come on, we got an arrow for you. Come on. Doesn't matter where you go. I don't even think you need to move. Maybe we should move so that we can at least see him directly if there's a way. Oh, yep. Yeah. Here we go. On the move. Full speed. Eh, not much better off. Oh, we hit though. Scored a critical hit. Nice. That mad cat still got to go. See what he does. He's completely surrounded now, so he's got to make a decision. If it was me, I'd move back here and shoot this guy in the back. But he may push the vehicles. There's oh, yeah, I see. Oh, he's not shooting. I guess he couldn't shoot me in the back. Probably couldn't turn far enough. Ah, never mind. Why do I even open my mouth? How many times does that happen, guys? Like, it's like the story of my life. The objective is secured, Commander. Yeah. See you guys later. Sorry I had to leave people behind, but... Did my best. And my best wasn't good enough. You have elected the way of pain. Enemy down. I'm here. Okay. And I'm firing. Oh, that should do it. One leg. We are about to find out how accurate these racks are. So let's just see here. Uh, we want to take. What well, if we could try for his head? One rack hit would kill him. Let's do that. There we go. Fire. Wait, we got a head hit on him? No. Okay. Commander. Might as well just kill him. Moving out. Not gonna waste my time anymore. We tried. I'm not gonna waste my time. Gotcha. For another fifty five ton mech. Mission successful. All right, contract payment increased by 40%, which is kind of nice. 
Yeah, very little damage overall. Nice, actually not a bad distribution of kills here. Night Gear still mopping up here at the end. Mockingbird's title is going to be uh, knocked out very shortly. I should probably give her the Orion. Uh, medium pulses, Arctic Wolf. There's like so many mech parts here. Mad Cat 3X. Let's just take that one part. Wait, we could take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Thunderbolt parts and have a Thunderbolt. Did we do that? Wait a minute, there's eight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Thunderbolt parts. I guess if you take the head off, you get full salvage. So, yeah, for the sake of it, Let's have a full heavy main lance. I don't think there's really... I mean, we got so much stuff now, right? They're really the things that we're missing as sensors. We need to get some sensors. This is kind of okay. Gyro. I mean, we could have taken a lot of components. But we really need to get into the heavy range. Jamming sensors, slick sweet, watchdogs. Yeah. Let's go this route. Alright, tons of mech parts. One, two, three, four, four Arctic, Arctic Wolf parts. One, two Dark Crow parts. We got the Thunderbolt, white part. A couple of ER larges. Uh, End of Steel. Uh, a lot of just random stuff, looks like. Oh, it's the Royal variant. Nice. That mech you wanted? Oh, we got an Arctic Wolf too. Wow, that's crazy. 74,000. So that was a pretty fruitful mission. Let's see what our mechs look like. All right, right to the mech bay. Let's get right on this. Okay, so the Arctic Wolf Prime... see what we got here. Actually not so bad. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. We lost a lot of stuff off this guy. 184,000. We'll just confirm it. We'll stick it in the storage once it's fixed. Okay. And Thunderbolt. So this should be a refit for the Strix, I think. If we can get a ballistic build on this guy. Lost a lot of stuff off here. No, we can't. Look at this. Six energy, two missile. What do you do with this guy? I mean, the armor's okay. Keep the core though, that's kind of good. Had Artemis in it. Well, that's not a question for right now, that's a question for probably next episode. Let's just confirm this. See if we manage to do anything here on this planet. If Wolf wants to take it, there's not much we can do about it right now. You can just slow them down a little bit. Um, let's just see here. Yeah, they're down to 17. We did a little bit, but not much. We're going to take some priority missions the next time, too. I'm liking the priority missions. Uh, we More often than not, we find good uh, competition in them. Like, that was a 3.5 skull. We're really up to 5 skull rating now. 4.5, 5 skull ratings. Um, that one priority mission in the middle of this episode, which I'm not going to bother showing because it was only four lousy vehicles. Um... You know that's prime, like that seems to be the anomaly for for those missions. But um, yeah, anyway, so we'll leave the episode there. If you'd like to drop a like, if you haven't uh, subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and also drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.